there's a couple other stuff I want to touch on last night that has nothing to do with the Bulls and Nets. Uh, one is the Jokic, uh, Markeith Morris incident, oh. which we can talk about in a second. But the other thing I want to t- touch on is just Steph. And to me, Steph, he, he's second in the league in scoring right now to Kevin Durant. But to me, he is the greatest show on earth when it comes to basketball. And I'm curious from your perspective, as a guy who has to lock up multiple uh, attempts you know, attempt to lock up, attempt to lock up multiple A yeah, yeah. one level uh, offensive players, is there a harder player to guard for you than Steph Curry? I, I would say of the guys that I match up with, the guys that I like in in. in told to guard, you know, like I'm not guarding AD. I'm not guarding Kevin Durant. You know, those, those guys don't see me. I'm only six, five. Uh, but like, yeah, like guard wings, man, that dude, that dude's a menace. He's just, he's impossible. It's it, especially the way that they run their offense and the way that him and Draymond have this like telepathy, like, like they, the guys that are back this year, like Damon Lee, Scott Anderson, Jordan Poole, Looney, uh, and then they brought back Dre. Um, like they're they're actually understanding how to play with him now, like how he operates, how he moves when he gives up the ball, and like continues to just run in circles until you fall asleep, and then he even then like shoots it from thirty feet. Basically, like it's it's borderline at times. It's unguardable, you know, because it's like what do you, what do you want to do? You watched, you saw the highlights against the the Hawks, right? 50, 50 burger, Dude, like. There was one possession. I can't remember where it was. I don't even know who's guarding him. Steph catches it on the right wing, bottom of the TV screen. And he's like, shimmy, shimmy. And the guy that's guarding him is shimmying in unison with him, like perfect defense. And then Steph just takes one dribble sidestep, throws it up and goes in. I'm like, I mean, yeah, like inbound the ball. We go into the next play. Like you can't do anything about it. I mean, what's the thought around the league with like how they're playing right now, knowing that Clay is – you know, waiting in the wings and a a guy, a shooter of that caliber is going to be added into this. Yeah, no, that's dangerous. Especially, I mean, if I'm in the West, I'm, I'm, I'm nervous about that. Right. If they're already nine and one, I don't know. I don't know who they played. Like, I don't know if they've played any of the, the, the top teams in the West. Um, but I mean, the fact that they're nine, like they're kind of on the same, you know, path as us where they're kind of just finding ways to win right now. Like, I don't even think they're at full strength, but, but Jordan pool has been playing amazing. Uh, Steph is Steph, you know, Draymond's been playing more like himself of, of the championship title runs, I think. Um, and then they're getting great role playing. Like that's like, that's kind of the, that's kind of the formula for success, you know, have, have some great, great stars. And then everybody else does their role. Well, if clay comes back and I mean, he's going to be, a, he's not going to be a shell of himself. Like he's still clay Thompson. Like he's going to come back and, shoot the shit out of the ball, guard people like Andy's motivated. Like, oh, come on, bro. What are we talking about? It's going to be dangerous. I feel like I feel like Clay has the size and the skill set that he's going to bounce back from these injuries. Uh, I've heard he looks great. I, again, I, he hasn't played a basketball game in two and a half years. It was crazy so when I saw that stat the other two night. Two and a half years. Yeah, that's I, crazy. I actually said this today, but I'll, I'll repeat it because I actually it's true, but the last time that Clay played an NBA game, anti-vaxxing was a fringe movement. Think about that. <laughs> a lot has changed in the world. Since the last time played changed. Now, he's now, he's now rough, roughly times. half the country are anti-vaxxers. Like, think about that. It's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, I mean, I could, I could honestly see him coming back first game and have and just going crazy, like making like. It would seven, not surprise eight, me. Like, I would, yeah, it would not I surprise would not. me. Um, 